are right at the top uh, now as well, of course. And, and it's almost like we're waiting to see. We've seen a few glimpses uh, from the Asia region for sure in the 1v1s and co-ops, but it, it, it's for players like Very Sutton and, and Maya Gekka, for example, to really start to bring that into the, the four in the World Finals. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think, you know, it's the same in any eSport. The, the more that we see these guys play against each other at the higher level, the more the level overall does raise. So let's see. Can Very Sutton cause an upset here against as Macabell? Is it going to be possible let's find out we are about to get into this game we are into this game and very sudden with the initial possession here trying to get the ball under his feet i think it's just one of these things get some possession your first game of the day you want to try and get yourself warmed up yep five minutes gone here and uh, it is very sutton who has his first chance to foray forwards midland is trying to get things done down this right hand side will get tackled of course but nothing too crazy to talk about at the start and as i said you know very sutton was the guy that we talked about in terms of you know playing defensive etc but he's the one that wanted to go forward there not you know playing it around the back or anything like that not taking his time he wants to get forward he wants to cause some problems to his Macabell but he is going to give the ball away retain it once again though and we'll get it back with a Warby down this left hand side making a run let's see if he can get anything going towards Aubameyang he's always the target the height and the pace is very very strong with these balls over the top but nothing coming of it that time Adam. Yeah, we, we talked uh, a, a few stats beforehand, of course, uh, just to back what we were saying up as Mako with what. a 94%. This is just a volley wide. A uh, 94% win ratio for us, Mako in qualification, just the 84 for very Sutton. So certainly those back up what we were saying as well. Well, we're into the front post and it's an overhead kick and seemingly going the wrong way. Aubameyang seemingly made it there. But it does go back out, it's driven in. And will be cleared away by very certain we know the defensive side of things the strongest for him but i mean i will put this out to a war a potential counter-attacking opportunity here although it does seem to have slowed down but happy to keep a hold of the ball here yeah certainly uh, it's really we, we were talking how he needs to negotiate the opening 30 minutes or so and that's certainly what he's done so far in half that time and he's actually had a couple of chances to get forward like here yeah, that's a good opportunity here, but maybe the touch from Aubameyang is not exactly what he wanted to see. And potential for us, Macapel to counter-attack here. Aubameyang down this right-hand side, all alone momentarily. One arriving in the box, looking to play it across. Ball still in play, though. To put a cross into the hands of Czech, and that one will be cleared away. As Macapel with his first real solid attack. Nelly sticks it in. Yeah, probably should have done better. A man of his calibre. Just growing into the game a little bit more. We touched on how... Uh, very Sutton's main game plan was, you know, using that. He's been very solid in qualification and he's been fairly solid so far, but another chance for the Frenchman. It's not going to be Maitland Niles trying to play forward towards Aubameyang. Not happening this time round. Out to John Jules now. Trying to get things going. Klasnich right in there. Good defending once again by Very Sutton, though, you know, apart from that one opportunity we've just seen, he really has nullified most of us Machiavelli's attacks. So has it been anything? noteworthy apart from that one chance and I think he'd be relatively happy just a comparison from yesterday uh, just a slight um, almost mirror image of what we saw in the game encouragingly for very Sutton uh, the broken silence game with beginners it was yes. a very similar affair there and certainly very Sutton would have watched yesterday and and he's definitely gone in with a similar game plan and remember beginners beat broken silence 1-0 so yeah broken silence with a really big surprise for the wrong reason yesterday weren't they very much our favourites going into this and didn't even make it out of the group. So let's see, though, there's Maccabell, very much one of the favourites here today. Can the upset be on the cards? Right now he is on the attack, though. It is going to be Maitland Niles. He looks for the cross, Kalasnic. Good defending by a very sooty, very sooty, very sooty. Very sooty <laughs> once again. And he will get this one away. Thing is, for all his possession, when he does attack, he hasn't really looked that threatening. I say that. It does seem as if there's an opportunity on the cards here. Maitland Niles will get it away down this right hand side. Does have the pace to get past the defender, Medley. Not quite there. Does eventually track back, and that will be a corner ball. 30 minutes gone, and still really nothing in way of goal mouth action apart from that one of Smackabal chance looked in the front post check is there the man you will keep him coming in this time but it's Macabal. to be worked in once again by very sudden and I said he hasn't had any glaring opportunities he seems to get the ball back and defend well but when pushing forward doesn't seem to have a lot of ideas but Set pieces be, might be the yeah, best option for him today. It might be. It might be. He goes for the same one there again, though. 
check his web, what's going on as Machabell does bring him out, still up in possession, and that's the main thing for him. As long as those Machabell does not have the ball, Barry Sutton is very happy to continue where he is. Yeah, if, uh, if you're as Machabell, you're still confident, but certainly if <laughs> the uh, man from Hong Kong could grab a goal, it could throw the cat amongst the pigeons because he's looked very solid going the other way. Very good stuff, that was a great ball in originally by Hector Bellerin, but as Machabell can get a counter-attack going here, yeah, Bamiang should just about get it, it's a good ball inside towards a Warby. Does have John Jules in front of him as well, back to Maitland Lions, into John Jules, can't quite square it across to a Warby. Potential counter-attacking opportunity, not going to happen, it is going to be as Machabell with the ball, got men over in the middle as well, looking for the ball in, a Warby, oh, he can't quite find another towards Aubameyang counter-attacking opportunity once again. It just seems to be the same thing over and over again, but he's not doing much with it here very sudden. He's finding himself getting a hold of the ball, defending well, but... I think he's, he's playing with a forward. bit of a handbrake, to be honest, Chris. Yeah. I think he's quite happy to just be be there or thereabouts because this is a you know a perfect start for him to get a, a point against the back-to-back uh, -back world champion from 15-16. I'm used to defensive player, let's be honest. When I watch week in and week out. <laughs> not that I'm going to watch much of that, is it? Torreira now to take the throw in. It's going to be another opportunity for Very Sutton. As said, seemingly uh, playing in second or third gear here, you feel, not necessarily pushing forward and getting themselves any good opportunities. That might be one if Aubameyang could get past Mavropano. It's not going to happen this time round. So Machabell keeps it in as well. And we'll be able to play this one back and take his time. Quick update from the other game in this group between Lucas Evan and Alison Black. It appears that's nil-nil as well so we are goalless and point and well one point apiece so far another opportunity snuffed out there there's it's quite a few players forward there for very certain and he could be in danger here it is Aubameyang inside the box medley will get back though and muscle his way in and that will be the end of the first half a cagey affair here Adam yeah stalemate so far at the end of the first half something to in terms of casting, it's been uh, it's left a little bit to be desired. But if you're very Sutton, you're, us. if you're very Sutton, you're very happy oh, right now. Right, See what okay. I did there? Yeah, definitely. The commentary is just us. <laughs> 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 oh god. Anyway, back into this one. It is going to be very Sutton in the Arsenal home kit from right to left this time round, and as Bell from left to right in the away kit. Arsenal, of course, most players using Arsenal today. As said, we haven't forced them to do that with being in the Emirates Stadium. It's just their choice and. That's due to the stat balances coming in, and Arsenal seemingly uh, one of the bigger teams, and that's the reason people do tend to choose them. The physicality is not something that can we choose to change. We don't make all the players the same height. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be uh, very, very interesting indeed. We haven't seen quite the free-flowing football that we've come to expect here that the Emirates is famed for, but nevertheless, again, you know, it's uh, more than acceptable for... Uh, very Sutton, and of course we're talking as if this is an amazing result for him. Uh, equally for us, Makabal, it's not the worst start if no. they were to get a point here. No, it, it doesn't put him in the best position. It, it, you would just hope that if it does continue to be a draw here and it does come away with only one point, that Very Sutton does the same against everybody else. Yeah, in and, and also we, we touched on the other two players in the other game that's also nil-nil currently. Um, a point apiece so far would be, you know, us Makabal would be happy with that. Blank slate, you go for the next two games, don't you? Let's see. Very certain defending very well, as said. This one's Machabella maybe just downloading his opponent here, maybe looking at him and saying, right, what are you doing? How are you defending? Can I find a way through? You might have just found that there. Bami across, and Kalasinic will just about get there. Feels of a shot, maybe is what you would have liked to have seen in that scenario, but as Machabella with another good chance here, and he does seem to be building in confidence. Yeah, he's certainly building as we go to a few formation and personnel changes, possibly. Uh, just to update you again on the other game, I mentioned how that was nil-nil, and it was a point apiece so far in the opening games. Well, there has been a goal, Chris, and it's come in the form of... Alison Black from Brazil, so of course the man who beat Guiaferra in the final 3-2 to get here uh, has taken the lead and will top the group if results and scores remain the same. Well, can this Macabilla match that? Doesn't seem so this time around, Mavropanos is going to get this away. Can see a deflection towards Bellerin, Maitland Niles to Socrates, if we can find this ball to Welbeck. Counter opportunity maybe was on, but here we go into Aubameyang, fire a slide by Enketia down this right hand side. Back into Mkhitaryan, back to Nkere. This is better from his Machabell. The ball should probably come across. Good defending. Oh, is he actually going to be able to get a hold of it? A whisper away from the left-hand side post. And that's as close as we've seen so far, Adam. An absolutely huge chance again 
comes and goes for Urs Makabal, oh. and a man of his talent really, really should be taking that opportunity. A real let off for Very Sutton. And that just seemed to be a bit of a mix up at the back, if anything. Just really couldn't get it out of the player's feet, and couldn't get it away. Survives this time round. Biggest opportunity of the game so far comes in the 63rd minute. Now, an opportunity maybe for Very Sutton to get some things going. Maybe try and force a corner to try and force a goal, if anything, because right now it doesn't seem as if his attacking is seemingly very free flowing or anything. It, it, it's been difficult it's, for him to get anything going. Yeah, it's difficult in a stagnant game like this as well when you do get that one chance that we've just seen, for example, you, you're almost a bit Take rusty. Off. Well, back is he going to beat him there? Check has to come screaming out. And this game's starting to open up now. Very sudden with a guilt edge chance, if anything. It's a cracking little dink over the top. Look at the run. A little bit more pace on him, and he might get there. If that's Aubameyang on that chance, that could be 1-0, one, one well, to be honest. Yeah, well, the thing is, you know, with momentum in a, in a game, of course, if you do miss chances like us, Makabal, he'll be, you know, cursing that and almost trying to almost overplay and trying to overcompensate and get that goal. And, of course, on the flip side, he could end up conceding on the counter-attack like he almost did then. There you go. This game is very far from being over now. As Makabal, of course, using the 4-4-2 formation and uh, very Sutton with that 4-3-3. And so far, it's been uh, very successful for the man from Hong Kong. Well, There's going to be a Warby to whip this one in. Very Sutton looking for a goal from the corner. Not going to happen. Socrates was lingering. The Qatarian will recover it, though. Bit of a hard touch is just about going to slow down the ball to Bellerin, but back to Mikitari and we go. Ball across is surely coming well back to Warby. Maybe there was one more, but he goes for the shot. Or Bamiang on the left is maybe what you wanted to see. But another good opportunity there. Smackerville survives again. Yeah, another good opportunity and another goal in the other game. We've got a second goal for Alison Black, and it looks like he will be topping the group at the end of the 90 minutes, respectively. That's a great start for him, and us Makabal already under pressure. He is under pressure, and very certain coming into this game a little bit more now. His attacks have looked better as the game has went on. Hasn't had to defend as much either, and only 15 minutes or so of time left in game here. And, and if you were to pick something. a winner right now, Chris, well, you'd, you'd have, have to go more, with very yeah. certain, yeah. wouldn't you? It looks more like him, but we know the quality that Makabal does have, and he can do things like this. A fantastic ball through to Aubameyang. Can't quite get there though. The defensive work by Barry Sutton has been fantastic. His tackles are being well timed. And he has an opportunity to counter attack here. Welbeck's just gonna try and squeeze it through to Mikatarian. Can't quite get it there. Well back over the top to Aubameyang, and that is going to be offside. A real resolute performance from Very Sutton and if you get to this stage now and you for either of these players and you were to concede in the final ten minutes, it would be really tough to take in quite a blow in the competition as a whole. Yeah. You know, if you're very Sutton here and you're holding on potential of this draw, looking for the win, it's a massive result for you. We know as Makabel could potentially still win win this group, even if he does lose or draw this game. We know he has it in his locker, but this would be a big victory for very Sutton. Well, back now down this right hand side, skips past his man as well. Got a couple in the box going towards Obamiang. It's a big save from Tech again. Is it going to land to a Warby? Just about getting away is Mikatarian. As Makabel has been hanging on in this second half. Kalasnic now getting this ball out, out to Welbeck, to Aubameyang. Does he go on the other end and score it? Looking for Aubameyang again, it just seems as if that extra pass either isn't there or they're not going for it, they're going for the pass. So it's seemingly the final third where both these guys just seem to be struggling for that last touch to get it in the back of the net. Yeah, but you feel that very Sutton is sensing blood here in the remaining four minutes or so. If he could grab a goal, this could be huge in the scheme of the Pez League 2019. Awobi can't quite get on the end of the cross. It, an incredible uh, performance. I know it's only nil-nil, Chris, but this is really, really impressive from the 39-year-old. Yeah, he's been playing fantastic yet. Defended well, and every single time he's counter-attacked, especially in the second half, he has looked dangerous. He's been thrown right in at the deep end in this first game, but he's looking buoyant right now. Any changes? What would you do here, Chris? Uh, change you out for maybe Ricky or Harry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, look, the changes do seem to be coming in, and it's seemingly just a, a stamina thing at this point. Tired legs on the pitch, you want to get them off. Just a just, personnel thing? Yeah. I, I don't think it's necessarily any tactical changes. We did see a couple of 
the defensive tactics being changed so if you sitting a bit deeper etc if you were a smack a ball now would you think i've not quite played to the best of my ability but a point you know a fair result it's are one you, of them are you fairly happy it's one of them a point doesn't necessarily put you in too bad of a spot you win your next two games after getting a point you're through so let's see he won't be too worried about it yet but he might have an opportunity now very certain will get this one away two minutes of added time and you feel as if this could be the very last chance and will be with the ball sends it long towards danny welbeck not going to be able to get there that one is headed back to the keeper this one is going to end nil nil yeah, that's Macabell. That's an upset. That's an upset for me. As Macabell will be disappointed with that. Yeah, that final chance uh, pretty much summed up what we've seen in those 90 minutes and just waiting for final clarification. But the last time I checked, a minute or so ago, it was still 2 0 to Alison Blake.